Hey, it's the Crypto Coach Blockchain Wayne. This video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Garda Wallet. The Garda Wallet does support the FIO protocol. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to set up the wallets. Garda has multiple different wallets. So we're going to have a video also on mobile wallets, uh, web wallet, Chrome extension. This one, I'm going to show you how to download the desktop wallet to your computer. Uh, it's just like downloading an app, but you're going to download desktop wallet here. And then you pick your operating system. If you're on Mac, Windows, or Ubuntu, uh, we're gonna do Windows. And there's a setup. And once it's finished downloading, I'm just gonna open that up and install it on the computer. Typically on desktop wallets, you have the opportunity whenever, say your computer crashes or you change computers, you can download it to another computer and restore it on that new computer. Let me get past these. Uh, little safety measures download anyway and we're gonna see it download so if anything else so I'm the only one using this computer I'm gonna click install when it pops up and so now it's going through the installation process but basically like I said if, if your computer crashes or you change computers you can download the wallet to a new computer and restore it uh, using your seed phrase I'm gonna show you that here in a second all right so now we've got the, the wallet downloaded here we're gonna go ahead and set this one up. And if I'm restoring, like I said before, I would hit restore or import, but I am actually gonna hit create a new wallet and I'm gonna set a password. Now set your password, it needs to be something safe and secure. So put in a password, secure password, long string of letters and numbers is the best, something that's not easy to guess. And then I'm gonna put, I've written it down. Now you wanna make sure you write it down because there is no customer support that can restore your password. So take this very seriously when you're setting it up. All right, so it's creating the wallets, all the different types of wallets that are supported here. Just gonna take a, a few seconds to set up each wallet. And the next step after this, it's gonna be very important that you set up a, a backup file. So the backup file is also what's gonna allow you to restore that wallet somewhere else. Uh, as you saw, I went to set this up, it asked that if we want to create a new wallet, or restore an existing wallet, import a wallet. That's how you would do that there. You can also sync it across multiple devices if you'd like to. All right, so now we're at a spot where it gives us the option to back up. We wanna download a backup file. Um, it's gonna, it, they don't keep this file, so that's why you wanna save it, not share it with anyone. So I'm gonna download the backup, and it's gonna save that backup to my computer. Um, so now I'm on the main screen where I can look at the wallets. I can see all the different types of wallet it supports here. And if I scroll all the way down, I have the option to hit add new wallet. And of course, one of the ones that I always like to add when I get this wallet is the FIO protocol wallet. So I add that, I hit create, and I can download a backup for that one since I set up an additional wallet.